Yeah. So you were telling me you grew up uh, Catholic? Yeah, things? I grew up Catholic. You know, and I did the whole, uh, I don't know much about Catholicism, you know, but, you know, your, bat your parents baptize you. And then you have your, like, your, what you called your first confession. And you're around, I don't know, seven or eight years old. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then you have what's called your first Holy Communion. So it's the first time you uh, take the, the the Eucharist. And then in Catholic uh, theology, you know, it, you know the the bread transforms itself into the body of Christ. The wine turns into the blood, which represents the sacrifice. So in essence, I learned this later in life. Uh, you know, the, in Catholicism, you're you're sacrificing Christ every Sunday. Again. Which tells you that the atonement didn't stick. Mm -hmm. Questions, yeah. right? So, uh, went to the, the realm of, uh, of the Protestant uh, side of things, right? You know, Reformation and the split. Uh, you know, so it was now more, as opposed to a catechism, where you know I have to confess to a priest and the Pope is in the highest position of authority uh, in the succession of life from Peter to him today whoever he is, right now it's Pope Francis, uh, and so on, always had issues with that, right? So within uh, Protestantism, uh, it's more based on uh, Bible, right? Mm -hmm. uh, to some degrees, you know, the Trinity in some camps would be uh, a Father, Son, and Holy Bible as opposed to Holy Spirit. But then that adds more question because now they're saying this is wrong and this is right. And, you know, I, I went through it. Don't get me wrong. Like, I believe. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Um, here's the thing, when you start to then uh, study for yourself, you have questions. So when you start to seek answers and you sit down with somebody, they tell you, well, do you... What's going on? Because you, <laughs> you, you have faith, right? Because belief is faith. There's some things that we just don't, don't know. But in the, in, in the Bible, after you hit the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, John being the one that does not line up with the other three in regards to uh, who Jesus says that he is, mm -hmm. right? And that's taught in, in, in seminary. Uh, you know, Mark is uh, Jesus, the lion, and the king, and the shepherd, and the, the savior, and they break it down into sections and so on. Okay, I'm going with it, right? Yeah. I was in a, in a church that... Um, uh, Went mostly um, uh, Word of Faith. I don't know if you ever heard of Word of Faith. Uh, I haven't. You know, you watch TV. You watch the, some of them uh, Christian shows on the TV where they're preaching. Very selective. Right. <laughs> so like people like Creflo Dollar and um, uh, what's that lady's name? Anyway, yeah. They, they, they believe in faith. It's Word of Faith. So w the words you use, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, are, can either be a blessing or a curse, right? Right. Okay, so far so good. But then blessings would become like a monetary thing, a lot of money talk and believing, you know, that kind of uh, stuff, right? You know, miracles. Uh, the reason why you still have sickness in your body is because you have sin in your body or you, or you don't believe, uh, you know, it, it going into, into, into more of a, a mystical yeah. type of... Uh, uh, thinking ideology, you know, Holy Spirit uh, infused in uh, signs, wonders, miracles. Right. My brain doesn't work like that too well, right? Although I do, I have seen some stuff. Right, yeah. <clears throat> you know, uh, I, I have to think more logically, right? True. So then I start to study, and at the same time, I'm, <laughs> I'm taking Bible school, and I'm teaching uh, youth, and okay. I became an accredited minister. Mm -hmm. Believe it or not, right? I was in that. Frame. You were you were, you were certified to be a minister. In yeah, within this church, within this denomination, they gave me a certificate. Not like a minister, lay minister, more so. Like I wasn't able to, uh, like fully credentialed to be someone who could then marry and bury. I wasn't okay. able to marry and bury. I could do everything, everything else, okay. right? Uh, if necessary, and I was taught, you know, how to do that, and you know, uh, yeah. Uh, so, but then I started. Ask more questions. So mm -hmm. then I started going into what's called Calvinism, right? I don't know if you know about that as well. So it's more of a um, a conservative theological step forward to the 
more of like a Bible-based, what the Word says, as opposed to this more spiritual warfare, spirits, the spirit of this, the spirit of that, you have, and so on. And so... It's a focus is that the essential theology. It's theology, is theology so, right? Okay. It's, 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 a it's the same. Systematic theology is okay. what it is, really, right? So I kind of went there. But you the know. concept of Jesus and sacrifice and crucifixion still exists. Absolutely, okay. the atonement is is, is, is what is one of the one of the te we teach about the atonement, the sufficiency of Christ, uh, the role of the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. Really hard to explain. Right. Super hard to explain, mm -hmm. right? You know, you, you 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 can imagine working with youth, and you're trying to teach the Trinity, and you use you use the aspect of the cross, but the cross is not the Trinity. The Trinity just uses that as an example and you have to go be, float between uh you know genesis chapter one and john chapter one and show the relevancy and then and within within uh, bible interpretation the bible interprets the bible so you use the book of daniel to help you to help you interpret the, the book of uh, revelations and so on and so forth this adds more and more and more and more questions said, yeah. right mm -hmm. and it gets a lot more complicated and i pretty much said i'm done yeah. right I believe what I believe. I'm good to go. I'm going to stay away from church. I'm going to stay away from church people. Stop teaching. I, st I stopped teaching. Preaching. Oh, yeah, yeah, preaching. I, t I stopped that a long time ago. That's just because also uh, that coincided at the same time with the uh, disintegration of my first marriage. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so my uh, belief was, according to the Word of God, according to the Bible, uh, a man who is cannot take care of his own home, cannot take care of the people of God, okay. right? So I was like, hey, this is in shambles. This is showing a character flaw or, or a trait that I did not want to be a hypocrite. So I stepped down. Uh, but as I stepped down, I moved forward in my learning, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I saw how people react. And... You know, my faith in people went down, but my faith in God was the same. And, you know, I floated from church to church to church to the point where I stopped going. I really stopped reading my Bible. I stopped uh, listening to sermons. Pretty much just stopped. I said, I just know what I know. True. And then I met a nice young lady. <clears throat> and she rekindled a, uh, a desire to, to seek the truth again. Mm -hmm. So she is a Muslim, or she's a Muslim. Okay, right. Yeah, uh, so I I got your uh, contact through another sister. I think she knows. Yeah, um, they're related. Yeah. Okay. And got so it. the you know first thing I did, to be honest, is like I I, I YouTube the uh, uh, non-Muslim men dating Muslim Listen. women, right? <laughs> <And it's> like. <laughs> You, you, you were trying to protect her from her. <laughs> well, you know, at the same time, I don't want to disrespect uh, anybody. Right, right. Right. You know, you have to be respectful of people, right, and their beliefs, and and so you know, I saw that and I went, okay, you know, but it, like I said, it kindled the, uh, you know, an interest. So, so I'm curious, just out of because this has happened to um, another lady. She was here over the weekend, and she's a non-Muslim. Oh, well, mm -hmm. she's a Christian, right? And she was dating a Muslim guy. Mm -hmm. um, so, from your perspective, right, when you were googling that, I thought it was kind of weird mm -hmm. that it, that's okay, right? Yeah. Like the, a Muslim man can can uh, uh, be with somebody of a different faith, uh, but not the other way around. I'll tell you, in the Jewish faith, mm -hmm. it's the women. Okay. So the woman is what. Uh, I guess the easiest way to say, if if a if a Jewish woman marries a, a Christian man, for example, and they have children, the children are Jewish because the mother is Jewish, and the child passes through the mother, so hence that is your religion. Right. Okay. Right. That's the Jewish yeah. uh, sentiment. In Christianity, it's called. Uh, it's very. It's Christianity. It's the same thing. It's it, it's not the same thing as Judaism. It's it's uh, it's called. You have to be with somebody you're equally yoked with, mm -hmm. right? Somebody of your same belief. Right. right. Otherwise, it will cause problems and tensions and, and other things. Right. But unless, but if you come to faith within the constructs of your marriage and you're both unbelievers, then right. you stay with 
your spouse and you, you know, be someone who guides them, helps them uh, to faith, you know, through your, uh, not only your words, but your actions as well. People tend to um, see it to believe it kind of thing, right? True. To see the change, right? And then, and, want, and then desire the change. In Islam, it seems that it's a bit of both, right? The man can meet a, a nice Christian woman, more Hindu woman, or what have you, right? And I'm not saying right yet, but I'm no, just letting no, right, you. No, I'm saying, but it's it's not like a big no no. Like it is actually. Okay, right. then I was wrong. There you go. Yeah. So no. So yeah. So so basically, it, I just want to have it. That was my understanding. It's okay for the man, so can then give you a but comment. not okay for the woman, right? Right. So you know, uh, with regards to with with with, with the, the the young lady I'm with now, um, there. I've been waiting my whole life to meet somebody. Okay. Like this. Okay. Right. Fantastic. And I have intentions. Mm -hmm. Right. And uh, she was pretty. Uh, even though, you know, and I'm being honest with you. Even though I was ready, you know, looking into things at my speed. Right. She said flat out. She goes, "Hey, it's one thing, us doing this right now." Right. And like she, she explained to me that it's um. I forgot the word she used. Um, it's not the word, not allowed, right? But if we intend to marry, right. I must mm -hmm. be a convert, right? Mm -hmm. Which caught me a little off guard, <laughs> to be honest. But wasn't anything that scared me off, right? At the same time, right? It's like, oh, that's a big uh, red flag. Uh, no, okay, that that's not going to happen because I still have questions. True, and my. I think a lot. I think a way of a, of a logical way. At least I tried to say I do, right? Yeah, I just, I think yeah I, and it should be right. I mean, God should not be creating confusion. It should not be hard. There's confusion. Them. Like in Christianity, yeah. you have, you know, you have the end of the the, the, the four gospels. John being the, the most different of them, and then you have the the letters. So you have Peter's camp, right? Who, when Catholicism is, it's in the, the Pope's lineage, right? Then you have James, right? Who, depending on what Christian camp you're in, is the son of uh, the son, the, the brother of, uh, of Jesus. Uh, either in Catholicism, it might be it's before before Joseph, uh, the previous uh, marriage or something like that, right? right? A widow, or after the fact, and he had a church. And then you have Paul, and the Paul, the confusion of Paul is Paul never met Jesus. And yet the predominant teachings of the church are outside that are outside of the gospels itself are from Paul. And that causes a bit of confusion, right? Okay. Because they don't some of it doesn't line up, but some of it does. Questions. It, it doesn't make sense sometimes. Why should we have so many questions? Why can't it be more simple? True. Why can't it be more refined? Okay. Yep. So is God so complicated? Absolutely. That, that not. He would not allow us to know him. Okay. So basically, based on what you have been saying and what I've been taking notes of, so here's my suggestion. And you can tell me what we need to add or drop. Sure. So my suggestion would be to tell you what does Islam say about God. Yes. Right? And then you evaluate how logical that sounds to you. Correct. Uh, second thing that I've realized is, uh, as you mentioned, that, you know, if uh, 